exactly uh, how, how exciting is this today, despite oh. the gloomy weather, that you're, you're finally going to see some Despite the gloomy weather, the sun is shining here at Rothschild today. We are so excited for this building remodel. Um, not only can we spread out our classrooms and allow for our school to grow, it allows us to be handicap accessible with the addition of an elevator. Um, it will also provide for air conditioning in all of our classroom spaces. So uh, first things first, the air conditioning. I mean, obviously that's something that's going to make a lot of people that have come through here jealous. But <laughs> it's something that it, it might seem like a little thing, but in a school setting like this, I mean, my elementary school was an air conditioned as well, and, and those days were just miserable. Yes, I agree. Um, you know, especially on the upper floor, the um, temperatures in classrooms on some of our late fall days, you know, even spring, um, can reach in that 88 to 90 degree range. So learning certainly is impacted. Air conditioning will give us the full um, calendar year to allow um, the variable of temperature not to be affected. Yeah, absolutely. And, it, and it's also, you know, a student safety thing to a certain extent as well. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, it's just something that, that is needed these days. Absolutely. Comfort level of all of our kids is, is something that we know is important to learning. Absolutely. And then in talking about the handicapped accessible uh, upgrades to that as well, talk about how that challenge you know, how you've had to rise to that challenge up until this point. Absolutely. So currently um, we are an elementary school that takes all kids. Um, if we had somebody with physical disability, we have been using outside access to get up and down. Um, unfortunately, when we have concerts or things in our gym, um, our public access is only through our lower floor, which um, kind of is not following our security um, of monitoring who comes in and out. So an elevator is going to allow access to all people on all floors of our building. So then, uh, as far as that goes, how, what does that do as well to the building? I mean, obviously, it's got to bring it in as compliance, right? Correct, correct. Our building was built in 1955 and hasn't been remodeled since, so we're kind of grandfathered under some of those things. But with any change, you have to bring it up to code, and an elevator certainly will bring our building up to code. So then, uh, what are some of the other improvements that you're going to be making to the building as well? I know there's probably some little things here and there. Too. Absolutely. Um, things like more efficient lighting, um, new heating and cooling um, units in all classrooms will make our building much more efficient. Also, you know, simple things like carpeting and paint on the walls can also make the environment much warmer or cooler depending upon what you have in the environment. So then as far as the timeline goes for the construction, I understand this is going to be at least uh, two phases right, but the bulk of it will be done over the summer. Correct. Over the summer you'll see when we come back to school a new route outside. Our buses will drop off in the back of the building. We are very congested in the front, different paired pickup. Um, so our outside mapping and structure including new parking spaces will all be available but in the inside of the building um, really no change until January in January of 2020 is when we'll um, open our new cafeteria seven additional classrooms and our new kindergarten wing so it will be a very exciting time or great Christmas present for everyone here at Rothschild Elementary yeah, absolutely and uh, as far as you know, what this means for the, the building as well you know you get to oversee these improvements like this and the commitment to education mm -hmm. what does that mean for you Priceless, absolutely priceless, to be able to have a community that supports education um, so willingly and so overwhelmingly on our first ask is, is, I'm very grateful. So on behalf of all the students, staff, and families here at Rothschild, would really like to give a big thank you to everyone who commits to education here and makes this a place of learning for all kids. And one more before I let you go, uh, you talked about seven additional classroom spaces. Well, what does that do to your student population? You maybe actually uh, be able to kind of bring down the student to teacher ratio there? Not necessarily. Right now, um, we are what's called a three-track school, so we have three of every grade level. And um, some of those grades, when we reach a maximum, unfortunately, we've had to um, transfer kids to other schools. This will allow us to be a four-track school um, and provide space. Currently, our building has about 420 kids in a space that's meant for about 375. So we will be able to um, kind of spread out a little bit more. And as new areas and new housing goes into the Rothschild area, we'll be able to keep up with, with the boom of housing and with housing brings families. Anything else that you'd like to add then before I let you go? 
no, I have this great opportunity today to be able to say thank you to the community and share some exciting things that are happening here at Rothschild.